Oh my god, time for a new vlog! How the fuck are we doing today, guys, on this super, super awesome and sexy Spank My Ass Monday? Today is Monday, January 22nd, and we are actually one month away from Double EXP Weekend on RS3. Hooray! Today, we have a lot of stuff to talk about and uh, not a lot of time. Actually, we have all the time in the world. I really don't give a fuck if this video is going to be 30 minutes long or 40 minutes long. You guys are going to listen and watch it. Or maybe not, but still. Anyways, today we are on day 14 of my sexy and awesome beard challenge. And I will say my muff is coming in pretty good. Woohoo! This is actually the first time I'm growing a beard in about like a little over five years. Doing a beard challenge with a couple of my friends um, over the course of the next like two months in a way. And not to mention, today I got a sexy and awesome uh, haircut, so it goes just ten times better with that, uh, than that with that. Um, otherwise, for those of you guys that have recently um, subscribed to my Patreon page, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, like I said, if you pledge to me $3 a month on Patreon, you will get eight videos, or rather eight vlogs a month. Uh, every single Monday, which is today, is going to be a public vlog. And every single Friday is going to be a private vlog that my pledgers can only see. And their names are up on the, um, up on the, uh, virtual bung board. <laughs> Not the real bung board, but the virtual bung board. Uh, thank you guys for pledging for me. This Friday, I'm going to be doing a private vlog. Um, so my pledgers out there, you will be able to see it. And, uh, I think that I'm going to do Monday's vlogs, kind of like really an overview of what's going on on RuneScape. And uh, stuff that is happening, personal updates and shit like that. Every Friday for my Patreoners is going to be kind of really, you know, private. Like, for example, um, this Friday I'm going to be telling the story of how I started to play RuneScape. Or what got me into RuneScape. So, if you guys want to see that private vlog, then pledge $3 a month to my Patreon. A lot of you guys have pledged a lot more. Uh, two of you guys have pledged the $30 option, which is the highest option I have right now. Um, you don't have to pledge $30 a month, but Mr. Uh, Mr. DeFields and also Mr. Grimley, thank you so much. You guys are fucking legends. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Um, otherwise, I added some stuff to the bung board, as you guys can see. So on Old School RuneScape... I'm currently killing uh, Horcraft, or I, I can't even say the stupid name. It sounds like a whore. Hork, Horcalf. Vorcalf, Horcalf, whatever. Let's just call it Voldemort. <laughs> the one we do not speak of. So I've killed it 38 times. I have a goal of killing it 250 times. Uh, that is my goal. And um, I should theoretically add the slash 250 kills. Um, the reason why I'm doing 250 kills is because it does drop a unique drop. It can drop the Dragon Bang Necklace, which is currently 4.8 mil. Um, it's actually going to be going up, um, because of the buff that they're going to be adding to it. Then it can drop a regular Visage, which I believe is like 10 mil. Then it can drop the, uh, Skeleton Visage, which is like 19 mil. And those drops are 1 out of 5,000 or 1 out of 1,000. Basically pretty much means that we're fucked. <laughs> However, a friend of mine, um, who shall not be named because he has incredible luck on this game, um, he actually got the Dragon Bane Necklace on kill 150-something, and um, I think doing 250 kills is actually a little... Eh, it's, I mean, it's, it's a conservative number. It's not a thousand kills, but then again, on Old School RuneScape, it's hard to do anything a thousand times, especially bossing, unlike RS3. So, I want to kill the boss 250 times. If I get a unique drop, then I'll probably most likely expand that, because I am making some money. Actually, I'm <laughs> not making a lot, but I'm making some. Um, if I get a unique drop, one out of the three within 250 kills, maybe I'll go for 500 kills. If I don't get any, any unique drops whatsoever at 250 kills, fuck you, I will never do you again. So we will officially retire from that boss. Uh, my next 99 on Old School RuneScape is surprisingly going to be fire making. Um, and I haven't done fire making in a while. And this is actually going to motivate me to do fire making. Currently 4.7 million G uh, EXP. Um, almost 89. Uh, right around 4.9 million. Um, but I would like to get 99 fire making. I have a bank tab in my bank that's worth 10 mil 
from doing winter token. Um, so obviously I would like to finish and then sell my tab and have some more cash. Uh, my Slayer on RS3 is 103, and during bonus EXP weekend, we're literally going to be doing Slayer and also trying to get the combat pets. So, <laughs> having my Slayer EXP up on the bung board, it's actually going to probably motivate me a little to do some Slayer here and there, because I really don't want every Monday to be like the same numbers. Eh, it bothers my OCD. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's it for uh, the personal updates from Nightmare RH. Uh, once again, like I said, guys, thank you so much. I was live streaming um, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, a lot of you guys supported me on Twitch TV. I actually got uh, another uh, pizza donation on Twitch TV, uh, pepperoni pizza. Oh, it's very, very yummy. Yes, you guys can actually order me food on Twitch TV, um, which a lot of you guys like. Some of you guys don't understand, but hey. If I'm live streaming for like fucking six, seven hours, I gotta eat some sexy food. Oh yes, and one last thing. For those of you guys that don't believe the new Slayer boss in Old School RuneScape is a douchebag, I'll go ahead and show you some of my drops. Here are some of my drops that are worth utter crap. Like literally crap. My inventory that I bring to fight the new boss is roughly about 60k. And yeah, I don't have vigor on Old School RuneScape. Um, I don't have max gear. I'm using Salve Amulet, uh, Enchanted with uh, Void Ranger and Blowpipe. And then I was using Melee for a little bit. And some of the drops are, you know, fairly good. Over 200k, 300k. But those dragon little bolts obviously don't go for as much they're worth. So the new boss on Old School RuneScape can be profitable. But at the same time, you can definitely lose money as well. Alrighty then, moving right along. The main topic of this vlog where the fuck is RuneScape Mobile? You know, the whole point of having RuneScape Mobile is so I can take a shit and play RuneScape on my fucking iPad or on my fucking cell phone at the same time. Well, Jagex, where is it? Where is this wonderful app that we have been waiting for? Because I remember last year when I made my RuneScape Mobile video, I actually... I'll actually look it up on my YouTube channel right now to see when I actually uploaded it. But I remember last year when I made the first video about RuneScape Mobile. Um, they said old school RuneScape Mobile was going to be out before Christmas of 2017. Uh, it is well past that. And um, RS3 Mobile was going to be out uh, early winter of 2018. Well, damn it, there is no old school RuneScape mobile out, which means I cannot poop and, like, fish at the same time. And, uh, I can't be on RS3 thieving at the same time as well. Because I would like to get the thieving pet eventually, so I do AFKing thieving once in a while. I uploaded that video July 17th, 2017. RuneScape mobile is coming, uh, RuneScape old school mobile is device is coming on RS on mobile devices. So, it's roughly been almost about six months, and um, if you guys actually are seeing right now, this was basically pretty much the end of the year, and this was uh, uploaded on uh, the RuneScape's main uh, website, the end of the year, the end, the year ahead, 2018. Jesus, I can't talk today. Um, so, basically, pretty much, this talks about, you know, random stuff, January, anniversary cake, yay, 17 years old. RuneScape is almost an adult! <laughs> Um, even though in other countries, you know, the age of being an adult is like 16, but still. Um, anyways, yeah, 17 years, RuneScape is 17 years old. Um, then we keep going down, uh, bonus EXP weekend or double EXP weekend, the, the 23rd to the 26th, which is phenomenal. I will actually be doing or attempting a 48 hour live stream, uh, that weekend, cause I'll actually be on. And then it basically says the rest of 2018, there's no doubting the um, uh, headliness of headlines acts. RuneScape on mobile is due for launch later in the year, making Gillinois available to you on the move. This won't cost a dime extra. It damn well better not. It's all part of your membership. We want to get you involved with upcoming betas, surveys, and showcases so that you are the ones who tell us when it is ready for launch. So basically pretty much what Jagex is saying is that it's still in production and it won't be available until later this year. Um, that's actually really depressing because I was really hoping to take a poop today and also play RuneScape. But apparently I'm going to have to wait longer 
I don't know if I can hold a shit a couple more months, but seriously, to be perfectly honest, guys, I haven't pooped in like the past six months. I've been waiting for this mobile device. <laughs> um, otherwise, no, on a serious note, my personal opinion, I really, really want the, the mobile app to work and not suck. It would be really, really, really shitty if there was a bug on the mobile app that caused you to drop all your items. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Or for you to log out by mistake or for you to randomly freeze. So I understand where Jagex is really coming along because they want everything to go smoothly. They don't want any flaws and it's really not fair to the players especially if they release a shitty app that has a whole bunch of bugs. Um, so I totally understand that, and for once, I'm actually really not that mad at Jagex. Um, however, it is really disappointing because they said to us last year that it was going to be available available early winter um, in Old School RuneScape before Christmas. Um, so otherwise, besides that, I mean, that's really the only downside about it. We have to wait a little longer. But my personal opinion, I really can't wait on the RuneScape mobile app. I think it's probably going to bring a lot more people back to this game. Um, a lot of people don't play this game anymore because, honestly, I think a lot of people are just on their fucking phones. I mean, if you look at, if you run a YouTube channel or if you run a Twitch uh, channel and if you're a fairly active streamer and active YouTuber, you look at your analytics, everyone's on a mobile device. It really is insane. Like, I, I, no shit, like, back in fucking 2012, I want to say about 65% of my analytics, my video views, were all people from mobile devices. It was insane. And uh, now it's even greater. So everyone is really on their damn iPads, tablets, cell phones, and um, it is time that RuneScape becomes mobile. It really is. And uh, I think it will bring back a lot of people, and I hope it definitely does. And it's going to be fun. I'll be uploading videos of uh, RuneScape Mobile uh, constantly. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's, it's going to be cool. All right, so I have a question for you guys, mainly because uh, it's kind of really annoying. I have not found out a way to mount the bung board to my fucking um, basement's wall. Uh, I don't really want to damage my wall. <laughs> <laughs> and nails cannot penetrate concrete. I'm really thinking of maybe literally gluing it to to the back over there. And then I can put my green screen over it when I live stream and shit like that. But um, otherwise, yeah, I mean, I, I've tried duct taping it. It doesn't work. I've tried a pulley system where I'm holding on to a string yanking it. It doesn't work. Um, need some suggestions from you guys out there. So please let me know in some comments below. Uh, what are your uh, suggestions uh, to it and stuff? Uh, how to mount the bung board. All right, guys. So to really wrap up uh, this uh, lovely vlog, and hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, please thumbs it up. Going to say something that I haven't said in many, many, many years, but it feels so good. If you guys would like to send me a personal email um, and ask me a question, you can ask me any question you want. You can ask me a real-life question. You can ask me... A uh, RuneScape question, you can ask me a stupid question. Although, remember, there are no stupid questions, there's only stupid people. However, whatever question you want to ask, send me an email at asknightmarerh at yahoo.com. Don't drink too many yoohoos, otherwise you will end up with diarrhea. Uh, make sure to leave your RuneScape username so I can actually give you a shout out in my future vlogs. Um, I want to get some fresh emails uh, at my email address. So next Monday, I'm going to be reading off uh, some questions from you guys, preferably two or three. Uh, like I said, send me an email, ask me a question. It can be anything and I'll go ahead and uh, read off your question, answer your question and uh, give you a shout out on uh, my vlogs. Otherwise, I'll be live streaming just about every single day this week, um, trying to reach our donation goal on Twitch TV before Saturday. If we do, then I will be doing a 24-hour live stream this weekend. If you guys can, uh, pledge $3 a month to me on Patreon website uh, so I can continue vlogging and you can see private vlogs. Like I said, this Friday is going to be a private vlog. For those of you guys that are uh, followed on my Patreon, or rather, pledge on my Patreon website, it's for you guys. 
Otherwise, little closing little thing. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter and Facebook is free. And if you use Snapchat, go ahead and add me on Snapchat. The Nightmare RH. Some fucking butthole uh, stole Nightmare RH name on Snapchat. Uh, and yes, please uh, follow my Twitch uh, channel as well. Otherwise, my little friends, I will say so long and I will see you guys soon. I might actually be uploading a RuneScape video this Wednesday um, in two days. So stay tuned for that. And uh, take it easy, my friends. And bye.